What's going on guys? Welcome back. Okay, in this video, I want to talk about a couple things that uh, I kind of made moves on or one thing I left out. You know this redirect function that we created? I don't know how this went under my radar either. Somehow I deleted it from my functions page or I never even put it in there. This function right here, redirect to. Well, if I'm an idiot and I never put it in there, let's go ahead and do that now. So what I'm going to do is create my function right here. I'm on my functions.php file inside our includes folder. And let's create that function right now. Redirect to. And we'll just create a variable called location. And we'll say if location equals nothing, location has zero value, then no. If location is set to nothing, then if location is not equal to null, then we want to execute header, which is a PHP function that's already been compiled, not one that we created. Header, location, you could have this capitalized, or uh, capitalized or lowercase, does not matter. And let's go ahead and source in our variable location. Let's go ahead and close that out. It already is closed out. And uh, double quotations. And once we find what we're looking for, we will exit out of here, exit or die, and we'll save that. Okay, so our functions.php, you, you guys might already have this. I don't know how this went under my radar, but you're going to want to have this in our functions.php file, not our form functions. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, actually, it kind of does matter because then you need, okay, just leave it on our functions.php page because if you put it on our form functions, we have to resource the whole code anytime we pull in this function we need to go through every file so leave it like that and another thing I did that you guys might have seen in the last video is I went ahead and created a uh -oh. so cancel this should take us back to content.php edit page right here so anytime we're on one of our pages there is this edit page link right here and for that I went ahead and created this a ref right here edit underscore page go ahead and copy this code here's our closing link tag right here else lets us know select a menu from our information table or page table close out the table close out the cell close out the TD DR and the table and uh, alright let me know if you guys have any questions what else did I do? Am I missing a closing div tag? No, well, everything's working right now. Tell something's not working, I'll try to track down that closing div tag. But go ahead and save it for the time being. This looks good. And now we are all officially caught up. So go ahead and create that function if you did not already have it. Right here. What did we do with our edit underscore page? Oh, I just showed the example of this function right here and uh, go ahead and save it. All right, guys, sorry about this video. This video should never even happen. I should have been prepared for it, but um, now we're all caught up. All right, guys, good luck. 